Hey everyone, this is our Shopify upgrade series where we recreate features of successful e-commerce brands. And we've got a really good one today. So we're going to be taking a look at Olipop and we can see when we add an item to cart, there's this progress bar at the top that tells us that we can unlock free shipping if we just spend a little more. And this is a really effective way to help increase your AOV because it gives customers that psychological motivation to claim their free shipping. They just need to spend a little bit more. So this isn't a Shopify feature by default, but today we're gonna to be showing you how you can add it to your store. This is actually an updated version and you guys were asking for progress thresholds that match the customer's currency, so multi-currency stores, and here it is. So we'll start off by first giving you a demo of this progress bar and then we'll show you the customization settings available that come with it. And then we'll show you how you can add it to your own store. But if you want to save yourself some time and headache and download theme files with this customization already in there, then make sure to join our newly created school community. It's the Prompted Insiders. So we're starting this community so that we can give you support that's just not possible with the YouTube comments section. And Besides being able to download theme files, we'll support you on your technical issues with any of our tutorials, uh, and you'll get access to exclusive member-only customizations and tools. So for example, if you want a more advanced progress bar with multiple tiers, then you can actually request for us to work on that in the school group. And not only that, we'll be doing store audits when you join so that you have more ideas on how to increase your conversion rates. And with Q4 coming up, you'll really want to make sure you're prepared. All right, so check it out. Link is in the description. Okay, so let's get back to the video now um, and let's add the cart progress bar to your store. All right, so here we are on our demo store and if we just add something to cart, so let's just take this one, put into the cart. You can see here, we've got our progress bar there. We're 55 away from free shipping. So 25 plus 55, that's $80. So once we get to 80, we'll get to free shipping. So we can add, a couple more to cart as you add it to cart, right? It, it updates. And once we actually reach the threshold, it'll tell us, congrats, you've unlocked free shipping. And so um, what's cool about this is if you have a multiple currency store, then it actually works for that as well. So let's switch this to United States. And we can see here the price changes. It's now $19. And we can see here, let's uh, just change this back to one that now instead of $80, it's going to be $50 to get to free shipping. Because what we've done on the back end is we've set $50 for the US, $80 for Canada, uh, and it takes that into account, right? So it takes into account the currency of the shirts being different. And it also takes into account that your threshold could be different depending on the market you're trying to serve, right? And same thing with Euro, if we go to, uh, you know, okay, let's say Austria, we're using the euro here. Um, we've got this uh, 18, almost 18 euros here. And um, so adding the 42 there, that takes us to 60 euros. So again, it's a different uh, threshold for the European market. Um, so let's take a look at some of the customization features that we have here. Um, so if you go to your theme editor, and you come to the theme settings, uh, we've got this new section here, cart progress bar. Um, and so this is something that we've added in. Um, your theme won't have this just yet, but later on in the video, I'll show you how you can add this in. And you've got a few options here. So the first one is just a master switch. If you want to use it or if you don't, uh, you can toggle this switch. So because we're adding this in, we are going to keep it active. What other settings do we have? So we can change the, the message, right? So before we get to the goal, we can say, uh, you can change this to whatever you want. So right now it says you're only $55 away from free shipping. We can change this uh, to say, hooray, you're only $55 away from free shipping, right? And so that will change the text that you have there. Um, and then we can also change what it says after we've unlocked it. So right now, if we go to four, it'll say congrats. Uh, we can say hooray here instead, for example. Um, then once we open this up, it'll say hooray. Uh, or I guess I misspelled that, but <laughs> it'll show whatever you like into the, uh, into the post uh, goal message. 
Okay, and then you have some options with the color. So um, you've got two options here, right? So you can make the bar green, for example, right? So here we've got a green bar, uh, but if we go below, it'll actually turn red because this setting here sets the, the bar color before you've reached the goal. So we can even make this blue and now it'll turn from uh, from blue from blue to red. Uh, sorry, to green. <laughs> um, so those are our settings. Um, and like I mentioned with the the different markets, we can actually come to the markets area. So if you go to your settings and then markets, um, you can go into each one and you can set the actual uh, value of the threshold that you want. So in this case, I've set it to 80 for Canada. Um, so we can, uh, let's make this uh, 100. And we can save that. And then if we go down to the US, we can change this from, let's say 50 to 30, right? And now if we refresh and we come back to Canada. Okay, so we're at 100, so we've met the threshold. Um, if we go back to 75, it uh, doesn't work. Actually, let's change this to a different number because 80 and 100 for this shirt ends up being the same. So make it 105. Okay, so let's refresh now. Okay, so we get to 100, we're five away because the threshold is now 105. And we go above it, then we get to uh, free shipping. And then similarly with US, we have a different value now, it's 30, I believe. So we can just go down to one. And we can see here that 19 plus 11, that's 30. So it calculates it. Um, and we now need only $30 to get to the free shipping and that changes with the market. Okay, so if this looks like something you wanna to add to your store, then let's do that now. Okay, so we're in our Shopify admin area uh, looking at the themes and we've just installed a brand new fresh version of Dawn. It's the latest version at time of recording, so that's 15.1.0 and uh, we haven't made any changes to this yet. All it is, is uh, we've renamed it. So right now we can see here, we've got our progress bar from before. Once we refresh this, our progress bar goes away and we're just on a fresh new version of Dawn. Okay, so um, what we can do first is we want to add our market meta fields. So we can head in over into the settings. So. Uh, we come to our settings, we go to custom data, and then go to markets, and then add definition. And then in here, you can add the definition for your meta field. Now we've actually already done that. So I'm just going to open up, uh, sorry, let's come back into there, custom data, markets, and we can open up our meta field. So we're going to be calling this cart progress threshold number. It has to be this exact name because we're looking for this namespace and key in our code. Uh, and then you're going to use type decimal. It'll be one value. Uh, and then you can set a minimum value of zero and a maximum number of decimal places at two. And then you can save. And then once you've done that, you can actually go into the markets area and then you can set your different markets. So here I have Canada, Euro and United States and you're going to want to set the meta field for each one of these markets. So in this case, I've got 105 for Canada, um, and then we're going to have in Euro, we've got 60, and then for US, we have 30. Okay, so just make sure you set a number for each one. If you leave it blank, then for that market, we you won't have a progress bar that shows up. Okay, so we can head back into our themes area and we can edit code. Now, before you start, just make sure to duplicate your theme so that if anything goes wrong with the installation, you can easily revert back to the previous version without trying to figure out what went wrong. 
Okay, so um, we've already done that. And in fact, we're actually using a brand new theme. So uh, we're just going to edit code now. So in here, we're going to be opening up these settings underscore schema dot JSON file. And this file here is actually what defines the settings in the theme editor. So if we hop into our theme editor, this uh, in the theme settings, all these options here are defined in this file here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new drop down menu here for cart progress bar. Um, so we can control F inside here to search for cart. And this is the cart drop down menu. You can highlight that curly bracket right there above it. It'll show you the matching pair and you can just add a comma, some space, and let's copy and paste our code. Okay, so let's save now. Okay, so let's move on and now create a new snippet file. So we'll open up the snippets folder, add a new snippet, and create the snippet cart progress bar custom dot liquid. Okay. And then in this file, we're just going to copy and paste our code and let's save. Okay, next we're going to open up the main cart items.liquid file. And this is what controls the, uh, the cart page. And we're going to come to uh, inside the div here, just above the cart warnings. And we're going to copy and paste our code here. Okay, so next we're going to go into the cart drawer.liquid file. And we're going to scroll down um, until you see here this cart drawer items element. So above here is the cart drawer header. We're gonna create a little bit of space and let's paste in our code there. Okay, so let's save that. And now let's open up the cart.js file. And we're going to be uh, looking for the update quantity uh, method here. So we're gonna come down here just until you get to above this publish line, and we're gonna copy and paste our code in just above it. And then when the method ends, so you can see here this curly brackets highlighted, uh, and it pairs with this one here. So we can create a little bit of space there and add a couple new methods into here, which we are calling from inside of our update quantity method. Okay, so let's save that. And now we've made all of our changes. So let's head back into the theme editor. We can refresh. And we can see here we have our cart progress bar settings and all of the settings that we were looking at previously. So um, this works on the cart page, it works on the cart drawer. Uh, so let's take a look. So let's first actually enable it. Um, and then let's add an item to cart. So we'll go to t-shirts. Let's add maybe this original shirt here. Okay, we'll add to cart. Let's take a look. So you can see here, we've got our bar on the cart uh, page. And in this case, we're on the Canadian uh, currency where we've got uh, 105 as our threshold. Um, and you know, we have $25 already. So as we add more, that number will update. And similarly, if we go to a different currency, so we go to United States, then in this case, we already met the threshold because we're above 30, which is what we had set it to. But we go below it and then there we go. We were $11 from free shipping. And it also works for the cart drawer. So let's go back to our uh, to our product and head into the into the cart settings um, and turn this into the cart drawer. And when we open up our drawer, we can see here that uh, the progress bar shows up there as well. And for the rest of the settings, uh, you can go back to the demo portion of this video uh, where I talk a little bit more about how to use each one of these. Okay, so you should now have a cart progress bar that you can add anywhere in your store. If you found this video helpful and want even more support to grow your brand, then check out our school community. You'll get more personalized support, 
exclusive customizations and marketing strategies to grow your brand. Check it out. It's the Prompted Insiders. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.